hello to everyone in this video i'm going to explain how to find inverse of a matrix in matlab for that you need to write certain command clc clear all close all these are the commands to clear the command window now in order to find the inverse of a matrix we need to follow certain guidelines a matrix should be a square matrix and also that is square matrix should be invertible a matrix is invertible only when it is non singular so matrix should be a square matrix and non singular matrix now we will take a input matrix from the user input enter the matrix user will enter the matrix we will check the number of rows and columns present in this matrix this can be done using the size command present in the matrix matlab for that we will write size x and this will be stored in m and n where m represent the total number of rows in the matrix x and n represent total number of columns in the matrix x if m equal equal n then only there is a possibility of having a inverse so we will look for whether a matrix is singular or not for checking whether a matrix is singular we need to find the determinant of a matrix if determinant is equal to 0 then the inverse of matrix doesn't exist if determinant is 0 matrix is singular we are going to display inverse of matrix does not exist now in other condition we will write as we will find the inverse of this matrix using the inverse command inverse x and save it in the variable i n double v and we will display this on the command window inverse is disp i n double v now we are going to end this if now in any other condition for outer if we will display the number of rows are not equal to number of columns hence no inverse exist disp number of rows and columns are not equal no inverse now we are going to in this outer if finally we are going to run this program and see the output on command window enter the matrix 1 2 3 4 is a 2 cross 2 matrix with inverse minus 2 1 1.5 and minus 0.5 now we will enter a matrix with element 1 2 1 2 inverse doesn't exit because this matrix is singular now we will check for the third condition when number of rows are not equal to number of columns 1 2 3 1 here number of rows are 2 and columns are 3 so third condition number of rows are not equal to number of columns